Have you ever wanted to send out a big blast during the holidays for either your own business or your clients, but you're struggling on figuring out exactly how to do it and not sending it to the wrong people as well? You don't want to spam everybody under the globe, right? But what happens in the case where you really want to send out, you know, happy holidays, whether it's uh, Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or whatever it could be, even just a simple happy new year or a generic happy holidays type of message. You will want to check this out. I'm going to break this down super simply. So that way, even if you're brand new to the platform of go high level, you'll know exactly how to do it as soon as you walk away from this video. We're gonna skip the uh, commercials today um, and just jump right into it. Okay. You ready? Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna dive into the platform, go to the correct client sub account, okay? I've already created these, but uh, I'm gonna show you what this looks like, okay? Um, and this is a semi new account, so there's not a whole lot going on in here. Ignore that. What we did first is we added an entry point uh, here to the workflow. So this one is gonna be uh, the tag that we created. It's just a simple Xmas blast, okay? Um, and this was on request of a client. They wanna send out as much uh, uh, good cheer as possible. Um, you know, they're in the real estate space, so they very much motivated to have as many conversations and network as much as possible, especially with their contacts, especially with people that know, love and trust them dearly. Okay. Um, so actually upon request, we had to export the contacts. Uh, and this, this can be from any database you have, even your smartphone, right? Um, and it was from an iPhone, right? So out of the iOS, you have to export the contact cards. Uh, and it comes out as a V card. So we had to do some fancy work as far as um, uh, converting that over into a CS CSV file, okay? Um, now, <clears throat> um, once we got it in, um, sh they had some homework. So they had to go tag, uh, uh, you know, go through the contacts. That took a little bit for them. They have like 10,000 contacts, right? We know the appropriate tags. So that way everybody does not get hit with this message that's not supposed to see it. They don't want other competitors for whatever reason to see it. Um, and and I don't think it's just that, they wanna send a separate message to those specific uh, group of other, you know, agents and brokers, okay? Um, all right, so this is pretty much it, you know, always label uh, CRM uh, um, type, and then contact tag, tag is added, Xmas blast. It's super simple, guys, okay? Uh, the one thing I will note on this one, make sure that you set it up accordingly uh, on, on when, when you want it going out, when you don't want it going out, okay? Uh, so this is here. Uh, I will turn off allow multiple, uh, you know, after testing, okay? I do prefer to uh, test that route. Um, okay, so uh, right here, the first SMS, simple, simple message. There is a uh, image there, that's it. You can test that in there and let's see, let's go ahead and test it. So and receive so we're going to save that action okay and now this one is a little bit different from normal so what we want is wait for reply from the previous message okay so uh if you haven't done that yet make sure you test it out um otherwise you can leave that part out there and skip this next step okay and it could just be a simple blast out there to everybody okay but what we wanted to do here was wait for their reply, okay? And you select what channel uh, you want that reply to come from, all right? Um, and then simply, last time we did this, they got a ton of messages um, and they weren't able to respond to all of them. Uh, so upon request, they just wanted an automatic reply sent out, kind of like an out of office thing, but they're actually out of the country, so they're not gonna be able to, to message back immediately. Uh, so after they, the the uh contact uh it waits for a reply otherwise they just stay there right um and if they never reply then they don't go to this next one okay but it just says it simply says like hey i'm out of the country okay that's all it is simple we've tested that earlier um so that's it um and then of course my signature little wait for 999 days everybody loves that um so that is it now one other thing to uh to uh, consider here 
uh, is if you want notifications for your client to be on for this, okay? So right here I have the customer replied. It's a separate workflow uh, here and a separate trigger just for this if they reply, okay? Um, this is if they're in that workflow at all. It's gonna just accumulate everything, okay? Um, and this specific customer did not want them in a pipeline or thing. Like they really got a lot of messages, but they will be tagged. Okay, so they'll be searchable in smart contacts, uh, smart list, sorry. But we'll be able to uh, follow up with them later. So the contact tag is added, um, reply to XM's blast, and then <clears throat> two internal notifications, one straight up coming from the uh, app, and then another one uh, going into the email, set up their email to where all of them will be uh, filtered and, and in there so they can really run through it. And then there's a link to the specific contact to filter it through the email. But again, run through this through the smart list, okay? So um, that is the second half now. We're gonna set up a filter and uh, we're gonna look for tag, okay? And it's gonna be tag is not. Agent. We'll go ahead and do both of those. Um, so go ahead and save this combination of filters. It's going to be Xmas Blast List. Uh, okay. We're going to select all and then select all 879, 8793 contacts. And. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do right here is uh, we are going to add all the contacts in here. Uh, make sure you select the right workflow. Okay, so Xmas Blast. Uh, Xmas Blast a contact list. Just went ahead and type that in there. Um, and then select the appropriate day and time. So we're going to select it for right now to start. Uh, batch quantity is going to be 3,000 uh, per day. Repeat after one day. Um, and it's just every day going through... Um, you know, until it finishes. And then, see here. yep, that's it. We're gonna add it and be gone. There you guys go. Um, and you just wanna double check that it is going. Let's see here. All right, there we go. And that is it, guys. So nothing crazy, nothing too special, but uh, a lot of people have asked me for similar type of campaigns before. And this is just a really creative way. If your client is going to be MIA, out of town, out of the office, being with their own family, and don't wanna to respond to a bunch of uh, messages, this is a cool uh, little tweak on a normal holiday blast that you can leverage for your own clients or even yourself and your own agency uh, and business, okay? Uh, that's all I got for today. Make sure you check out the description below and you'll find links um, and information about all of our programs, our mastermind and other events and activities that are coming up as well as how to access our arsenal of snapshot library resources and tons of content that you can access for free how to get it, check it out below. And looking forward to seeing you on the next video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you.